We are here with Gisela Galbonel at the Cornell Museum of Arts in Rollins College. I thank you so much for allowing us to come here and to film and ask you some questions. Of course, hi and welcome. Happy to have you here. Thank you. Tell us a bit about yourself and what you do here and about the different types of museums that are here in Orange County. Sure, so um, my name is Isela Carbonell. I'm the curator here at the Cornell Fine Arts Museum. We are the Museum of Rollins College, but we're also the museum of the entire Central Florida community. So we serve the Rollins College faculty and students, and we also serve our visitors from Central Florida. We have a collection of about 6,000 objects in our permanent collection, and we organize exhibitions that um, address topics that we discuss with our students in our classrooms and that our community is interested in. So this is a museum of education. What's the difference between this museum and other museums of art in Orange County? Right, so as a teaching museum or an academic museum, because we are in a college campus, um, our exhibitions, uh, the, the artwork that we collect, and the programs that we organize for our visitors um, is aligned with the curriculum of Rollins College. So as a liberal arts college, uh, we plan with our faculty and our students to bring artwork and organize exhibitions that address what students are talking about in the classroom, what they're reading about, the topics of interest in the moment. And so we combine um, history with current and contemporary issues that are of interest, not only for those here at Rollins, but also for those in our Central Florida community. That's definitely very interesting. Is there access to anyone in the public to see what the curriculum is so they could kind of compare to what they're seeing here in the museum? Um, so we do have a lot of information on our website um, regarding our exhibitions and the, the programs that we coordinate and uh, you may see some of our students giving tours and engaging with visitors. Uh, we also have a series of tours in Spanish that I offer for our visitors that we do once a month. Um, and also across our collection you will see when you come to our galleries that we have artists included in our collection and in our in our exhibitions that represent the diversity and variety of our community here in Florida. It seems like you're focused on inclusivity. I saw we were talking earlier about another piece um, that I, a minority artist had made. How can people get involved in learning more about how you provide equity to the different cultures here in Orange County? So I think that that can be done and is done within museums in a lot of different ways. One way in which we do that here at Rollins and here at the Cornell Fine Arts Museum is um, highlighting artists from different parts of the world and artists from different backgrounds and different perspectives. And so that when you come to an exhibition, for instance, in this gallery where we are now, this exhibition titled Multiple Voices, Multiple Stories highlights the stories told from different perspectives. So we have here a range of artists of different ages, different stages in their careers, different backgrounds and ethnicities uh, to tell stories from a multiplicity of perspectives, right? And so hopefully when people come visit, they can enjoy the art, um, they can enjoy looking at art, but also um, hopefully have that opportunity to open the door to reflect about um, certain historical issues or think about um, themes from a different perspective that perhaps we haven't considered before. Um, and so in this exhibition, the artwork is placed in a way that um, the artwork activate each other, the pieces activate each other, so you can notice some juxtapositions and pairings that hopefully can encourage our visitors to think about things from a different point of view. Okay, that's great. And so that's, it's wonderful to hear that that's implemented in the courses and things that you teach here. Absolutely, yeah. So knowing your experience with museums, so are there any other types of museums of arts? This is a teaching one. Are there different types that people? I mean, we have or? we have great museums here in Central Florida, as of course uh, you and your viewers know. Um, we have uh, city museums, larger and smaller museums, and we all complement each other, which is something that I really like. How we complement our colleagues at OMA and our colleagues at the Manello and down the road at the Morse. Um, so we, we all offer something a little bit different. So visitors, viewers here in Central Florida, or tourists who are visiting, have the opportunity to engage with art in a lot of different ways. And do you also show some of your art in perhaps different um, venues or like, I know some of the hospitals are Orange County Administrative Building that we provide some art pieces 
do you do exhibits in other places as well? We don't at the moment, um, other than the Alfond Inn. And so for those who are not familiar, the Alfond Inn is a um, hotel that belongs to Rollins College. The proceeds from the Alfond Inn go to a, a scholarship fund for Rollins students. So it's a philanthropic entity. Um, within our college and part of our contemporary art collection is on display at the Alfond Inn uh, throughout the year and so people don't need to be a guest, they don't need to be uh, staying there to go enjoy the art, you can just walk through the door and you'll see about between 100 and 125 pieces from our contemporary art from the Alfond collection of contemporary art collection on view there with uh, artists from all over the world that are represented in that collection. So that's a way for us to offer another uh, opportunity for engagement with the art in our community. Great, well thank you so much for all the information. Well thank you for visiting us and we are all over social media and on our website rollins.edu slash cfam. Um, for upcoming programs during the summer we have virtual programs in the fall we'll be back to in-person um, events and so I encourage everyone to log in and, and check out what we have to offer. Great, thank you so much for explaining how they could reach out to you. Thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you.